I'm here at our Winding Oaks project for our pre-insulation, pre-sheetrock documentation. This is where we document everything that's behind the walls. Walking up to the front door, when I look up, there's a six-inch recess can and a camera feed on the top of the front porch. As I walk in through the double doors, looks like I've got a switch to my right. Apparently, that's labeled uh, floodlights. Got a plug on that same wall. I've got a three-gang a little farther down. On my left are two three-gang switches and an alarm wire and then there's a plug as you can see right there and at the door jam I've got a, a wire here on the left side of the door jam as you walk in for the alarm system as I walk further through the entry looking up over towards the staircase looks like I've got a step light here at the staircase I've got a plug in this circular part probably for a Christmas tree and then let's uh, turn down this hallway back to the other side of the foyer to my right which has a switch on the left for the can lights and the ceiling as you can see I've got a six inch recess can then what looks like is probably a smoke detector another six inch recess can and there is a guest bedroom here to my right at the end of the hall there's another plug on the left and some switches on the right but we'll first go into the guest bedroom and document it as I enter the room Looks like my door swings back to the right, and I've got a double gang switch over here on my left, which is very interesting because this is a pocket door, and it will clear just barely, but I think we can get, if I get a shot of that, I'm not sure what I'm looking at there. The box for, there it is, the box for the electrical, which is barely clear and that's for our pocket door so there's a double gang switch on the left there's a plug and a tv outlet down here another single gang switch over here that goes into the closet looking up at the closet ceiling there's an air conditioner outlet and an opening for a ceiling fixture back around the wall there's a light down the lower left by the window moving on around the small window there's a light to the lower right of the small window a gas pipe in the wall going out to the gas fixtures on the front of the house the wall that backs up to the foyer has this plug, and then the wall that backs up to the hallway has this plug. When I walk back to the beginning, to the door, looking up, I've got a six inch recess can, a smoke detector, a return air and a six inch recess can, ceiling fan outlet in the middle, another six inch recess can there, a supply grill here, and a six inch recess can there. Let's walk into the bathroom. There's a pocket door which slides back to my right. Another door from the hallway which comes in and there's a three gang switch on the left side and a vanity plug. There's the plumbing for the vanity right there. There's the vanity light overhead there. There's the plumbing for the toilet. There's my tub and the plumbing for the tub here. It looks like there's a valve there with a tub filler and a shower head opening right there. As I go back to the entrance to the bathroom looking up I have a supply grill a recess can, an exhaust fan, and another six inch recess can. Walking back out towards the garage, I've got a two gang switch on my right, uh, alarm keypad wire, and then what looks like, I guess that is a, not sure, I think that may be the garage door opener, but it's a low voltage wire. Walking into the garage itself, I've got an alarm wire on the left at the top of the door, I've got my garage door sensor wire on the left of my garage door and I've got another garage door sensor wire to the right of my garage door. Looking around the walls of the garage, I've got a plug here on the outside wall, another plug here directly between the windows on the outside wall. Going back on the wall between the garage and the house, I've got incoming water line here with my PRV and my water cutoff valve. And then I've got plumbing here for the water heater, which is my hot my cold, my hot water recirculation loop, my T and P valve, and my condensate drain. Looking up above that, I've got my incoming and my exhaust air for the water heater. Moving back down that wall, I've got my 110 volt plug that the water heater plugs into, and then I've got another 110 volt plug on the wall here. And that is the end of part one of our pre-sheetrock documentation.